Hello everyone and welcome to this video on the Python programming language. So in this video I will show you how to calculate annualized returns of assets like stocks and ETFs using Python. So I'm currently on Google's website called colab.research.google.com and I'm on it because it makes it really easy to start programming in Python. So all you have to do is go to this website and then log in using your Google account and get started writing your Python code. So to start writing this code, go ahead and click on File, then click on New Notebook, where a new tab open up for you, and then eventually a new cell. And before we begin, if you like the videos on this channel, then be sure to click that subscribe and like button. And to be notified about new videos from this channel, hit that bell notification. Now I'm going to go ahead and add a description to this program in comments. So I'm just going to put calculate annualized returns. Okay, and then I'm going to create a new cell by clicking this code button in the top left. Also, you can get the code and the data set through Patreon at patreon.com slash computer science. And this will be the code that I'm going over right now and the data set that I will be using throughout this video. So you can get both of those on patreon.com slash computer science. And the material in this video is purely educational and should not be taken as professional investment advice as I am not a financial advisor. So please do your own research before making any sort of investment. All right, so with that out the way, let's go ahead and let's import the libraries that we plan on using throughout the program. Or I should say that I plan on using throughout the program. So I want to import NumPy as MP. I want to import Pandas as PD. And I want to import matplotlib.pyplot as PLT. And then I want to go ahead and run this cell by clicking that button to the left. And this will let me know if I made any mistakes. And it looks like I'm good. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new cell. And now in this cell, I'm going to load the data. So I'm going to load a data set that contains the adjusted close prices of stocks and ETFs. And since I'm on Google's website, I'm going to use their library to upload this data set. So from google.colab, I'm going to import files. And then I'm going to type files.upload and then run this cell. All right, and then click on choose files and I'm going to choose this assets.csv file and now it's loaded. So I'm going to create a new cell and in this cell I'm just going to read in the data and store it into a variable. So I'm going to create a variable called assets and I'm going to set it equal to pd.read underscore csv and I'm going to put in the name of the file that I want to read which is assets.csv and then I want to show the data. Okay, so I'm just going to type assets here. Let's go ahead and run this. Okay, so we can see that this asset contains 1000 I'm sorry, this data set called assets contains 1260 rows of data and 16 columns. All right, so it contains a date column and then all of the rest of these columns are stock ticker symbols for either an ETF or a stock. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's change these indices on the left to reflect the date. And then let's remove that date column just to clean up our data set a little bit. So the first thing that I'm going to do is set the date as the, as the index. And to do that, I just set assets equal to assets dot set underscore index and then type pd dot date time index and then input assets date dot values okay so if I run this now we can see that the indices have changed to reflect what's on the date column all right and I want to remove that date column so here I'm just going to remove the date I should put remove or drop the date column so to do that just type assets dot drop and then put in date and then set in place equal to true on the access one all right so that's on the uh, column all right so let's go ahead and let's run this and there we go so we've removed that date column all right so let's go ahead and create a new cell and in this cell I want to get the simple daily returns 
of the assets. So I'm going to create a variable called daily simple returns and I'm going to set this equal to assets dot PCT underscore change. All right, and then I want to show the uh, the daily simple returns. So I'm just going to type daily underscore simple underscore returns, and then I'm going to run this cell. Okay, so now we can see the daily simple returns. All right, so let's go ahead and create a new cell and now in this cell I want to calculate the annualized returns and right now the data set contains the adjusted close price from the dates January 3rd 2017 to uh, January 3rd 2022 so that's about five years of data so that's what we're going to check here we're going to get that average annualized return so to do that I'm going to create a variable called annualized underscore returns and set it equal to daily underscore simple underscore returns dot mean and I'm going to multiply it by 252 because there's roughly 252 trading days for the stock market sometimes it's 253 alright so that should be good enough now I want to go ahead and I want to show the annualized returns so I'm just going to put show the returns and just type annualized underscore returns and then I'm going to run this okay so now I can see the annualized returns for each of these ticker symbols okay and I think that looks good so let's take a look at some of the uh, some of the assets that we have here so we have FB for Facebook now called Meta we have AMZN for Amazon TSLA for Tesla GOO for or GOOG for Google now called Alphabet NFLX for Netflix AAPL for Apple CRM for Salesforce, MSFT for Microsoft, NVDA for NVIDIA, and then we have our ETF SPY that tracks the S&P 500 index, and we have our Vanguard ETF that tracks the tech sector called VGT, and we have VOO which is Vanguard's ETF that also tracks the S&P 500. We have WMT for Walmart, KO for Coca-Cola and NKE for Nike. All right, so let's go ahead and let's create a new cell. And now what I want to do is I want to sort the data. Okay, so to do this, I'm going to create a variable called sorted underscore annualized underscore returns. I want to set this equal to annualized underscore returns dot sort underscore values and I want to sort them in descending order so I'm going to set ascending equal to false okay and then I want to show the data so I'm just going to type sorted underscore annualized underscore returns and let's run this okay so now we see that the data is sorted in descending order so from greatest to least okay so let's go ahead and create a new cell all right so now in this cell I want to plot the sorted annualized returns and to do that just type plt dot bar and then put in sorted underscore annualized underscore returns so sorted underscore annualized underscore returns dot index okay and then put in sorted underscore annualized underscore returns annualized 
annualized underscore returns for the y axis. All right, and then I'm going to give the y axis a label. So I'm going to type plt.ylabel. And I'm going to put annualized returns. And then I'm going to give the x axis a label. So I'm going to type plt.xlabel. And I'm going to put assets. And then I'm going to give this plot a title. So I'm going to type plt.title. And I'm going to give it a title like annualized returns of assets. All right, I think that's a good title for the plot. And then I'm going to rotate the, the x ticks. So I'm going to type plt.x ticks rotation equal to 90 degrees. All right, so that way we're, we're rotating the asset tickers on the plot. All right. So let's go ahead and run this. And there we go. So now we can see that Tesla gave the most annualized returns and Coca-Cola KO gave the least. All right. And of course Tesla being TSLA. All right. So with that, you know, you can use this to kind of get an idea of the assets that you want to invest in based off of their annual returns but of course a lot more goes into deciding what type of company you want to invest in or what type of asset you want to invest in uh, other than just their annualized returns okay so again make sure to do your own research before making any sort of investment well, that's the end of the video. To start an investment portfolio of your own, you can click on the link below and get two free stocks on Weeble when you deposit $100 or more. And don't forget to grab $10 worth of Bitcoin using the BlockFi link below when you deposit $100 or more. It's basically free money. Thanks for watching and thank you to the supporters supporting this channel on patreon.com slash computer science. If you would like to be a supporter on patreon.com slash computer science or just get the code and or data set, used in this video then i will leave a link in the description below for that as well again thanks for watching and i hope you all have a great day and i will see you all in the next video